Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I know myself personally, I always have a hard, not a hard time getting gifts for people, but I want my gift to be meaningful. I don't want it to essentially break the bank so much or I, I just want it to be something that my partner knows that it, it's, or my friend or whoever I'm giving this gift to, that they know that it's something that I made personal for them, that, that they can't get anywhere else or get from somebody else or it just doesn't have the same meaning. So I decided to recreate four DIYs that I found on Pinterest as well as something that I did last year as well. And I think that they're fun. I think that you can really take it and make it your own. I do want to put a disclaimer that some of these are a little bit, you know, mature. So if you're under the age of 18, make it PG, please. Make it PG because I don't want your parents to come for my life because I'm putting that disclaimer now. Some of these are, you know, a little... A little risque so I don't want to say that you guys can do this but I'm 25 years old so if I want to give you know whoever I'm saying something a little sexy I, I have the right to in it if you're over the age of 18 obviously you have the right to too there's no there's no shaming over here like this is a be wild be free type of environment on my channel so I thought I'd share with you guys some of the things that I created. So if you're interested in seeing some of the DIY gifts that I would make for my man on Valentine's Day, then please keep on watching. The first DIY is an alcohol candy box. This can range anywhere from $20 to $30 to create. What you need is a large candy box that you can get any 99 cent store, alcohol, preferably the ones that your partner enjoys, and candy preferably candy that they enjoy as well. Now as you can see I have a bunch of candy and alcohol lined up. Try not to rip this plastic off like a savage like I did because you would want to use that again to basically cover that up again so that your partner wouldn't know. Then take out the candy that it comes inside and what you need to do is rearrange the alcohol in a way so that you can fit as much as you can or whichever bottles you think that your partner will enjoy now this really takes some time like don't rush it you can basically just rearrange it in whatever way and once you finish that put the candy in all the empty spaces and the reason why i'm saying that is that you don't want your partner to shake it and you'll hear the bottles clanking together when you basically put the candies in all the little cracks and crevices the candy won't the alcohol won't move and they won't be able to just shake it and know obviously what it is. They'll know it's heavy, but they won't know that it's alcohol inside. Once you're done, close the box and then use that plastic to then repackage it and then give it to your partner. I think it's a cute gift. I think it's really inexpensive. And like I said, you can really customize it to what your partner would enjoy. The next DIY is one of my favorite ones because it's really customizable. For your partner and this is the five senses gift bag this one can be relatively inexpensive and you don't have to break the bank and you can do this one last minute you basically just need items that will cover each of the five senses now obviously i got candy got some sexy lingerie or see-through lingerie uh, i try to keep keep it pg with the lingerie on this one i also got some candles some oil some like fun lip things from Dollar Tree because I couldn't find my speakers for here but again this is really customizable to you and your partner if I had the chance to do it again I would really create some labels uh, instead of writing them on the bag just so that it's a little bit more personal personal and as well as it makes it seem like I spent a little bit more time on them uh, it really depends on you guys like you can really make this your own I just thought it was a really cool thing that I saw on Pinterest and wanted to recreate it myself. This is also something that you can get a little bit sexier with so definitely think about your partner. I didn't want to get a little too risque just to keep it a little bit clean on my channel but I would definitely go a little bit sexier as well with these gifts if it was something that I was giving to my partner. The next DIY is my favorite by far. This is the romantic coupon book. And you can really customize this and for, you know, for my ladies who want to give their man or their female, whoever, you know, is your valentine, you know, a little something special. Um, this is really where you can go and do that. Now, I picked these up at Marshalls. I believe they were like five or six dollars, but you can make your own. I'll definitely look for a template online and leave it in the description bar down below. But it's something that you can give your your 
partner and it's cool because it's like oh here's like a coupon for like it can be as cheesy as like a kiss or you know something a little bit more sexual something a little bit you know that you shows your partner that you're willing to give them and I think you can really play it up and make it fun now this set it basically has a couple that are already pre-made and then it also has some blank ones as well that you can put certain things in if I were to do this, I would make my own using a template and print it out. That is free 99 honey, so I really love this one. Now this DIY is for my individuals who have partners who love the gym. Now this one could get pretty pricey depending on what you get them, like the sneakers and the pre-workout and the protein powder. But basically all you need is a gym bag. If you're going to get a big protein powder, I wish I just getting a bigger bag. I wish I would have because that protein powder took up a lot of space. I basically got just sweats and, you know, gym shirts, protein powder, pre-workout, candies that they like, a tumbler, gloves for lifting weights. I also got, you know, Powerade, some of their favorite candies, and just things that I know that my partner would enjoy if they're going to the gym. So really, you can customize this in whatever way that you would like and I think it's really cool and it's really personal but yeah guys those are all my four DIYs for Valentine's Day now I hope you guys truly enjoyed the video leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite DIY that I created in this video was let me know if you're gonna recreate any of them or if you ever did any of these in the past let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a like and when you do make sure that you also hit the subscribe button and when you subscribe don't forget to tell your friends so that they can tell their friends and 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 their friends so that we can all be part of this great big familia I hope that you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day you don't have to be with somebody to have an amazing Valentine's Day. You could do it with friends. Heck, you could get some Netflix and chill and eat these sweets all by yourself. There is no shame. I'm a big, 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 big supporter of self-love. So make sure that you love yourself as well on Valentine's Day. Make sure you also follow me on my social media, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter. Slide up in those DMs. I want to hear from you guys. I'll also leave a link down to my Pinterest down below in case you are interested in seeing some of the other things that I've pinned for DIY gifts for a man or your friends in general. As always, guys, I hope you truly enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!